Okay, we are live. So if you didn't see the last stream, um, it got ended a little bit abruptly because um, I, my um my bit rate all of a sudden went down for whatever reason. But um, yeah, we got swept in the playoffs by the High Point Rockers, which was pretty embarrassing. Honestly, I really wish that we actually at least did something in the playoffs, but but I guess that wasn't on the cards. Well, at least we made it in. That's I guess the, that's I guess what I was expecting. It was at least us to make it in. Also, soon enough, I've already decided on this. Or actually, no, I'm not gonna announce it yet. But uh, one of the players here will be my first, like I guess you'd say, OTP Hall of Famer. Unless he might have already retired. I'll actually check because I don't see him there. Yep, there he is. Um, Lou Ford. I did actually sign him to a new deal, but he decided to retire. But yeah, she's been a very good player for, he also previously actually was a major league player with Minnesota for two years. And he wasn't actually that bad in 2004 with them. Issue is he played all the way until 2023, 20 years after he made his debut with the, with the, um, Twins. Yeah, it was very interesting. And now, now sadly he is 47. I did sign him to a new deal, so that kind of sucks that I had to get rid of him. But either way, Lou Ford, we're going to retire his number. Unless it was already retired, although I don't think that's possible. But yeah, we are definitely going to be retiring his number now, number 20. And it hasn't automatically been retired, so I might as well retire it now. I guess I'll do uh, 20 dash Lou Ford. Lou Ford was. is a. Or I guess yeah, I'll do. Lou Ford who I guess we'll say um who never really seen the age. He ended up playing till he was forty seven and Ended up playing till he was 40 years old and was still about as good then as he was when he began his career. May he live on, may he be remembered as the best. Of the older Long Island Ducks players. And we're gonna save that. That is my kind of description of the Lou Ford. I couldn't really think of much else. Um, there you go. Banglers, I think he wasn't one of our best players per se, but he was definitely very good when he needed to be. And as you can see, he's no longer on the lineup. I think he retired maybe sometime during this season. I didn't really keep track. But either way, she is sadly, yeah, sadly retired. Even though I signed him to a new deal, which technically means I think we have to pay him a little bit more now. But either way, we also have 200, uh, we have about 2 million to sign new players, which is very interesting. So I'll see if there's anyone really worth signing. I think for me, I'll try finding something, but like, I'm going to try to sign Chuck Taylor. Uh, no, did I already give him a deal? Let me check this, actually. Yeah, no, I already gave him a offer. For pitching, is there anything there? Pitching, yeah, there's Mike Clevenger, but he wants a lot of money. I'll give Phil Meyer a new deal, because he's from New Jersey, and, and yeah, whatever. He's from New Jersey, and I like New Jersey, and also makes him somewhat close to where um, we're based in. Because, although I'm not sure if that's in South Jersey. In that case, it isn't that close. I could technically, if I wanted to, sign Zach Davies if I have enough money to, although I don't. We have enough money, I just don't think he doesn't want to. Obviously. We tried, but it didn't work. There's Mike Clevenger, who I'm not sure I have enough money for, but that might be funny. For the prospect, I'll see if there's any at least good prospect, I guess. And also, I forgot I had Discord on, so yeah. There is M Michael Guzman we could get, because he is a very good prospect. I might actually. 
I'm going to try getting Michael Guzman because he could definitely develop into one of my best players. We're offering him a deal. He doesn't even want that much money. We'll do 11000 response. Middle offer. He's only going to be on there for one year, one year, and I'm not sure if he's going to want to re-sign after that one year because he might think he's a little bit he might think he's a little bit too good, which he probably will be at some point, but whatever. That is a very uh, interesting deal. He wants only a minor league deal, which is interesting because he is pretty good as well. So, yeah, um, this is kind of meant to be the off-season episode. And uh, it looks like Michael Guzman... Who might not even sign, but we'll see what happens here. Again, sometimes like they like to like kind of troll you by saying, "Oh, I'm gonna sign," or "I'm very close," and then they immediately get an offer from like Lexington or whatever. That's what happened with a lot of my other players, and I really hated it. Although Guzman, I'm not sure it's a good signing. Uh, I guess he'd just be a good backup. That's taking a little bit longer to get through everything, which I think is weird. But yeah, it looks like Paul Caulfield decided to sign, and Tuesday. It looks like Zhu Wei Lin is going to maybe sign for us. He has very good defense, which obviously made me uh, very happy, but we'll see what happens. It says that we're the only team interested, which means hopefully he signs soon enough. Although, yeah, any, and it looks like any offers come in. No, it's still just him. For the next one year, that's great. Great grammar, uh, Lin. I mean, Jeremy Lin, anyway. But yeah, it looks like nothing's really happened. We're just getting some awards in. Again, I don't think anyone's going to win, like, MVP or I'll stand. I mean, maybe they will. It's obviously hard to tell. I'm not the manager, so. We, we can't win manager of the year, but that's fine. Because I really don't care. And here we go. Okay. Here we go. Today's also the outstanding pitcher. I don't think we're going to get any of that. And let me see, has anyone said anything? No, there is one person watching, though, so that's cool. Let me just get back to the actual stream. Yeah, it is taking a while, and we have some free agency fillings soon. Which, let me see who exactly filled out. Who have we not been able to sign? I think, did Growler all sign to a new deal? No, he is not even. He wants that much, I think that's fine. I will do 18000 we'll ask for it. He might have even, he might have asked me. Although, it looks like Chuck Taylor... Once you're Tyler Porter, my, it's probably going to sign. Well, I didn't even what? Of course, that Chuck Taylor who we looked at, or maybe we did. Oh, no. Right. And then there's Tyler Porter, who I don't even remember your name. Oh, no, you're like one of the good prospects I tried to sign. With. And, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff has definitely happened. 77. I guess I, I guess I could just sim to the preseason because at that point, it, that's kind of like the season reset date of this game. That makes sense. Of course, the MLB playoffs are on while we're doing this. And it looks like Grouderall decided to re-sign for us. Very good, of course. Uh, have we sent to the free agent? Um, Yeah, we have. And of course, a lot of these players are just going to be MLB players. So we definitely have no chance of signing anyway. There is Roy Morales, although we didn't lose a catcher. We actually just kept him. Maybe we should get a... um. I'm going to try getting a lot of left fielder. We have a good prospect, but... If, if there ain't good left fielders here, not really. Looking here, there is... Maybe we try getting one of these guys just because they're really good. Uh, Second baseman, though. What do we really need here? Second baseman is trying Santana, who's... Yeah, okay. I think I'm going to try getting a... Who is, I'm going to try getting Lurie Garcia, because we do need a second baseman. He's definitely going to be very good anyway. He is interested. We're obviously going to submit the deal, although I am worried he's just going to head to a major league team. Which is most likely what I think is going to happen. He is good enough to probably head to an MLB team, if I'm being honest. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens, I guess. And we see if we come on a message, Chuck Taylor signed, to Sue Wei Lin signed, Tyler Porter signed, Michael Guzman signed, that we've had a lot of it. Uh, I'm not sure if Melvin Mercedes, I think a couple, uh, most of these players I think were yeah, they were from. There's Melvin Mercedes, but we already signed their, what? I've also tried signing him, because why not? There, I guess that's fine. Although we might actually. And then, yeah, you have to get activated for whatever reason, even though you're not going to be in even for next year. That's fun. 
I will just sim through the preseason. I'm not sure how long it's going to take for the next notification. It might just take like a day and then we get it again. But let's see. Echeverria would have been much better if whenever the fact that he got injured like halfway through the season, which obviously like, derailed our chances of also in my opinion. And Melvin Mercedes gets a deal with Lurie Garcia. Might sign for us. And he is one of the best players that we could definitely sign here. So that obviously would be a major sign. Although we might be concerned about Mercedes signing for us, which obviously it could be because, you know, then he might not get enough playing time or whatever. It looks like DJ Burt left. Yeah, I think a couple of months. It looks like Larry Garcia has officially signed for your Long Island Ducks. Looking at the Major League level he last played, he actually did somewhat play last year in 2022 with the White Sox. And, yeah, that's obviously really good. Lineups, they still really haven't changed much. Or anything. You yeah, know, they already have Garcia starting, obviously. Uh, anyone else I probably should. I'm, I'm not going to replace Boog Powell, although, well, obviously. Although he didn't really perform well in the playoffs, so I am obviously considering it. Boog Powell really didn't do much in the playoffs. He was good enough in the regular season, but I think it's maybe time we move on from him. Which, I mean, I'm, that sounds pretty bad, but like. Oh, wait. Was. Okay, no, we don't really have a shortstop right now. The guy we're starting is Hitch. No, oh, no, we are starting him. Okay. But, yeah, um, yeah, we have a lot of very good players. I guess now I'll try finding a right fielder. Because cause, uh, Book didn't really do much in terms of playoff performance. I guess I'll try going to Rodney Castillo. We need someone at least, and it's cool. So, we'll offer him a new contract. Axe first box. Thank you. And then after that, wait, my stream on? Because I know sometimes it likes switching out. It looks like it's on. Yeah, it is on. Okay, because, like, sometimes it, it glitched out once, and I was like, what the heck? And, yeah, that obviously really stunk. Um, 77-63. Although, I think, no, it gave me a notification. Yeah, right. Hmm, I guess I'll, uh, we'll bring in Hold Gropper, because we didn't really sign many players. Or actually, we did. What the heck am I talking about? And then now we have to offer the transactions. We'll see. Uh, yeah. No, we already offered you a deal. There, I guess to look for starting pitching here. There isn't really much that's really good, but not really much that's really bad. Colin Wiles will offer a deal, and that might be the only one I offer a deal. Uh, after this. We're going to offer Colin Wiles, Colin Wiles a deal. I got a new notification. What is it? We're back at again. There's the train. Anyway, uh, Rizzi Castillo. Yeah, he says he might be signing for us, which is good because he's a right fielder. Finish today. And it looks like something might be happening because it is taking a little bit to load here. Is it the winter meetings? I think it's the winter meetings, probably. And this is actually taking a while with the crap system. Oh, you get the game not responding. That's fun. And yeah, the game's not responding. And there we go. It looks like Edward Salcedo did decide to retire. That obviously sucks. Because now that I think that means I might have to sign a new third baseman. Because currently now we have... No, we already had Tim Beckham, although obviously I want to back up one just in case something happens. So, yeah, I'm going to be starting a third baseman. Uh, the best one we have is TJ Alexander, but I want one who's a little bit worse, just that we don't really compete with playing time. Looking here, there are like three-star ones over here. There is Cam Devani, who I'm going to try signing. That's because he doesn't have much contract uh, demands. Give him a 10k deal. Probably should have kept a 9, but whatever. I just want to make sure they sign. Because if you just give them the ex what they're expected, it sucks. Because then, you know, just, yeah, it sucks. It looks like we do have a lot of money for free agents, which is very weird. Yeah, we have like 23,000 for whatever reason. I guess I'll now just sim until the preseason. Because there isn't really much else for me to do, if I'm being honest. Book Powell was one of our best players, and he might not even be starting next year, because, like, the issue is, while he was leading the league in batting average, he just wasn't really doing much in terms of in the playoffs, like, 
in, the, in that game that we played, the game that got all the swept, he did terrible. And I think in some other games, they're not doing that, because he seems to only do well when we sim the game. And obviously, I want to get some gameplay, so, yeah. Cam Devani did decide to sign, and then the winter meetings are over now. Cam Devani is not starting, or, no, no, Tim Beckham, obviously, is still starting, I don't know. I don't know what I expected. And we have a lot of people on our team now, how many do we have? Yeah, we have we do have the max amount of players, I think, at this point. Looking at pitching, we have Hold Roffer is now on our team. And then lineups, we do have some pretty good players here. I'm pretty sure Hichavaria will be ready. For years um left yeah, they went ahead. Yeah, it looked like Peroni was not resigned. Uh shall we try signing him? I don't know. He is angry. Um, we'll obviously see how this goes. He might not be happy with us. Well, the projected payroll is expected to be 130000 Probably just because of how many um, contracts have offered. Because we obviously need to spend a lot of money. We actually have like $2 million in the bank, which is very weird. But, uh, yeah, is there anything else I really need to do here? Yeah, we got personal message. Rosny Castillo decided to sign either a new deal. No, no. No, it is a, um original deal. Okay. But now, I guess we'll just keep simming and see what happens and see if anything else happens here. We are uh, now Peroni has decided to new to sign the new deal. Yeah, this is going to take a while, so I guess get, get your popcorn, get your whatever, get everything you can. Because this is probably going to be a long stream, as you'd expect. Okay, there we go. Now the game's loaded. See how long this takes to actually get to the regular season. And it looks like we got a proposal. Stevie, they want to send us Stevie Branch and Hogan Windish. Who oh, Hogan does have decent enough potential. And then they get Sam Travis, who is he even starting. I'm, I'm not sure he is. Yeah, left field, we have Chuck Taylor now, who's obviously a big upgrade. So I think, yeah, we are going to accept this deal. Although, do we need a closer? Let me check. Who do we currently have there? We currently have Quackenbush, who's fine enough, but I think having a younger guy in the ranch would definitely help. And now we have Windish, who could definitely develop into something good. So I think, yeah, we are going to accept this, considering that Travis is already a bench player. So, yeah. We're going to complete this trade. Sam Travis now heads to the South Maryland Blue Crab. Blue Crab. Which obviously, he's not happy about it, because he's had to now adjust to a new environment and such. I don't know. Obviously, I would say that that looks like now we're starting someone, and now we're starting the agent. Okay. I guess now we just kind of have them to set up the whole thing because I'm not really good at this. It wants to weigh Lynn on the bench. Is that really? Yeah, no. Jose Jose is good, but like I might send them down if he starts not performing well. I'm gonna send Joe or Oreo down. And then, um, we have two options every here. We keep, I think I'm running. You up. And then who else? Oh, uh, Quackenbush isn't that good, and we don't really need another closer. We already have one, I think. Don't we? Where the heck is he? Yeah, I think we're going to send Quackenbush down. And, actually, I'm not good at that. Yeah, yeah no, I guess we'll keep it like this, even though, in my opinion, Windish. Or maybe we'll keep on Peter. But both of them have done very well for us, and also, I don't really just want to replace every single... Yeah, I am actually going to keep Windows down. Um, I can't really make up my mind here, but I think I'm just going to do that. Why not? Well, once again, keep, we're just going to keep simming till the preseason. Which is definitely going to take a while this offseason. Because, of course, it will. The offseason episodes are usually going to take a while, of course. Everything seems like it's working on that end, so that's good. Although, at least for now. So, obviously, things can change, but we'll see what happens. So, um, yeah, this is going pretty good. I see, like, there's an online league for Nurse Up Young. So, cool. Um, again, for videos, I've been obviously uploading a lot. I've been doing a lot of streams. Because, like, you know, because I want to eventually get some stuff out. And why not? Like, for the recently published streams, if you look, it's just mainly been all my... The funny part of that's mainly just been my streams, which is kind of funny. Like the other ones have been, I think, one of those. And yeah. 
Anyway, let's see what happened. Uh, high point, they want to send us. Starlin Gill is not that good. Axlox Acevedo is pretty, um, I mean, not that good either. And they want to turn Hutzinger, who's not that good. And then in return, they got, now, Jose Jose is kind of a legend. And they wouldn't trade him away just for a couple of mediocre prospects. Although, I, I know they'll definitely have a word of me calling them mediocre. But, it's true, they're just not that good. That's just my opinion. Okay, now I think the rule five draft is happening or whatever. I don't know. And um, yeah. Summer so twenty. I want to make sure the stream's still working. Yes, it is. Let's jump back into the game. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. There, there we go. Yeah, and like I kept clicking on it, just like X'd out. Then it, it was weird. Anyway. Apparently, yeah, okay, apparently it's still not episode 6, okay. Okay, high point rockers, okay. Just kind of waiting. And waiting. <laughs> Okay, and we're now advancing to 2024, the next season here for your Long Island Ducks. Last season, we, of course, got eliminated. Let's see what happens. But yeah, it looks like not really much has happened. Should I sign more players? I want to see what exactly happened here. Is there anything, are there any other players I should probably replace? Castillo is still pretty good. Amor is very good. My pitching should probably get a little bit of an upgrade. Yeah, it's still not the greatest pitching core. But the issue is, like, when you check the um transactions here, there isn't really much in terms of pitching. Actually, let me check. Yeah, we could definitely sign Cheng Yong Kim, who I think might be, like, an international free agent. I don't really know. But, yeah, we are going to offer him a new deal. Because he could definitely want to sign for us. We're trying to get Cheng Yong Kim to a new deal because he is pretty good, I, I'm guessing, at least. I don't know. Well, Sim Tilda Breeden, it might be one of my last signings. I think something. Okay, no, no, not just because it glitches out like that sometimes. Sim, we're now simming or simulating till the preseason. Taking a little bit. Hopefully, it does end up signing, though. I thought this was gonna be longer, but yeah, we have we have just barely we actually reached 20 minutes. We're now now we're actually approaching 24 minutes, which is still long compared to some of my other streams, especially the previous one, which didn't last that long because it just kind of cut out, cut off for whatever reason. We still got most of the stuff I wanted uh, done. I just need to do the, I did not need to do the off season. This one, I'm still streaming, right? I need to make sure it didn't break. But yeah, it looks like it's still working. So yeah, it is still working, although it is running obviously a little bit slower as you'd expect. Nothing seems like it's not working, at least right now. Obviously things could definitely change, but we'll see. Although it still looks like the starting pitcher I gave an offer. Yeah, he I got an offer that he might be interested in York, the York Revolution, which are in our division, so ain't no way we're letting that happen. We'll give him like a very large deal here again. They they could obviously still match it, but we definitely do want to make sure that we get this guy because he is a very good pitcher, obviously. I mean, that's why I want him. Because our pitching in the last couple of years, actually, I might, I'm going to get one more pitcher because I still feel that my pitching core hasn't really been that good, if I'm being honest. And also, I forgot to replace any of the staff, which I was... Yeah, there is still, <laughs> I guess I could sign Quavis, although I'm not sure I want to do that. There is still Colin Wilde, who I was, I think, trying to sign. He just hadn't signed for anyone yet. He might, yeah, is he still considering my offer? It looks like he was, but I guess I just, I guess he took someone else's, and I guess that, those talks broke down. I don't know. Anyway, I think, no, no, I didn't do anything, actually. 
We're now on February 11, 2024. We're entering the new season. Or we're bringing the new year in this game. But now we're hopefully going to enter the new season at some point. And then now you have Seth Wall. He looks like he's our owner, and I can see he's pretty good. Although he is old, oh my god. But yeah, okay, it looks like that just happened. And then now it looks like Cheng Yong Kim has signed a new deal. Signed a deal with what? I would say he could. You could potentially can turn him over paid, but the issue is. We need some. We need obviously someone to start for us. And also, yeah, now he's gonna be on the reserves. Twenty-five out of zero, bro. What the? Yeah, that's weird. I don't know what to do with that. And now let's just do a lineups here. Yeah, he is gonna be a major change of pitching. Cause like, if you look at it, there no. Like, there's no confidence. He is one of our best pitchers. Or, you know, he is our best pitcher, I should say. Because, of course, he is. And I guess after this, maybe I'll play Spring Training game. I might just end it off here, probably. So, uh, yeah. We'll see how this goes, I guess. And, uh, yep. February 28th, 24. And now we're, okay, March 2nd to March 3rd. Taking a little bit, but I think we are probably going to be able to do this. And during schedule. Okay, I think we're about to reach a spring train. I tried getting another starting pitcher, but most likely we're probably stuck with what we have. Um, I'll see. Do we have... Maybe I could get like a relief pitcher because I'm not sure how good those are on. Uh, but yeah, the one guy I tried getting hasn't gone back to me. Maybe he just doesn't like us. I mean, I shouldn't say that because that might, you know, sounds a little bit mean, but. Today. I also forgot that we have some staff vacancies, so I often need to fix those. Or else, okay, spring training roster. We we're able to bring in as many players as we want. The only thing we're going to have the max. We'll bring in everyone for now because, uh, you know, what's the point of having reserves? I, I am wondering, is he, no, no, Hichabari is better, although he is now a little bit worse. Well, overall, yeah, Ching Yong Kim is going to be a major change, because he is, he's going to be a very good pitcher, at least I hope he is. I mean, preseason predictions, yeah, there, let's see where we're projected to be, obviously. Before I start jumping the conclusion, we are projected to win the AL North, which is pretty good. We're actually expected to be the best team in the whole Atlantic League, which is obviously very good, because... Looking at this team, it definitely is kind of different. Our pitching has been fixed by adding one pitcher, Chang Yong Kim, who is 33, so he could definitely go down. Probably did already go down, but again, that's kind of the name of the game is signing a bunch of older players, especially in the independent leagues where that's kind of the point. And other signings, I think we brought in Rodney Castillo. Is he a new signing? I think he was. Yeah, he was. Okay. But he did already go down to a four-star, which is not a good sign, but... um. Is there anyone else I should probably consider? Yeah, Murphy's still fine enough, although he is 38 at this point. Lori Garcia, Tim Beckham, yeah, our, 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 our uh, starting lineup looks very good, except for maybe Chuck Taylor, but he, that's still fine. Pitching, however, on the other hand, is an entirely different story. We have some good pitchers here. Obviously, Cheng Yong Kim has been one of our very good pitcher, but... but not all of the players are, in fact, we only have one, I think, or maybe two that are above a four-star. I think, yeah, Chang Yong Kim might be the only one here that's above that. Although Walter, although Walker Lock is close, he didn't really do that, that good last year. Chang Yong Kim, though, is a very good player. So, let's hope that, in my opinion, he is able to sign a new deal. But I guess that's about it. I'll see that the stream shut down. No, it's still working. So, I hope you all enjoyed, um... Like episode 7 or whatever the Long Island Ducks. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.